SPDX is a Linux Foundation project that started uh, well before Cyclone. Um, their main purpose initially was license and intellectual property use cases, and they do a phenomenal job at that. Um, we Cyclone supports all the SPDX license IDs and license expressions, uh, but where we differ dramatically is is on the file format. So SPDX is certainly um, you know this is kind of the the structure of an SPDX document. They they have a version 2.3 version of this. Um, it's not as colorful. The 2.2 one is 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 more colorful than the 2.3 one is, which is why the 2.2 is still in here. But um, not a lot has changed in 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 the 2.3 um, diagram anyway. Uh, but they capture package information, file information, snippet, which is something that Cyclone doesn't support yet. Although our snippet support is going to be very, very, very different from from what SPDX does, because uh, we have entirely different use cases. Uh, licensing relationships, annotations is something um, SPDX came from a lot of manual use cases. Um, you have a lot of uh, legal type use cases for license and intellectual property, and annotations was one of these things where either a tool. Uh, a human or a an organization can annotate, make comments on specific parts of the SPDX document. S Cyclone didn't really grow up in an in a, a age of manual use cases. We we grew up in a world of automation, but that's actually something we're adding to the next version of the spec because we have a lot of interest in annotating uh, commercial software, not necessarily open source. Uh, so compliant entirely different use cases. But that's kind of the structure of SPDX. Um, it's it's available in a lot of different formats. Uh, RDF, which uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into. Uh, Excel spreadsheets, because again, they had a lot of manual use cases. Uh, tag value, which is kind of their own format. Um, Cyclone will never create our own format. That's not what we're going to do. JSON, which is great. XML, which is great. YAML, yeah, well, we're not going to support that either because there's there's not a lot of really good ways to identify what the end of end of file is. I mean, there, there is a part of YAML that allows you to identify what the end of file is, but nobody really uses it, uh, which is unfortunate because it is optional. So we're not going to support YAML, but SPDX does.